you, Prof. Suhad, for your excellent presentation. Uh, now we are moving to uh, the Q&A session. So please, can you join, uh, share your screen, please? May I ask, may I ask all speakers to share uh, screen, please? Well, Suhad, uh, with us? Yes, I'm with you. Okay. So, um, the question now uh, addressed for Dr. Altaf. You are here now? You are... The question? Okay, so uh, the question now for uh, Professor Had until the problem will be solved by supporter. Um, the question for Professor Had um, uh, grant is very important for uh, research conducting. What are the um, the ma major organization for uh, funding research in this OD? Well, actually, I got most of my funding from the university. But uh, I also got funding from um, the uh, King Abdul Aziz City for Science and Technology. And there are some companies that have approached me to do research for them and they provided funding and I'm still having actually many companies approaching and asking for uh, to do research and I need to collaborate with whoever is listening and is looking for funding and can contribute. Okay, thank you. Uh, the question for uh, Dr. Altaf. Um, in terms of um, virtual education and F2, F2, F2F learning, um, did you conduct any research or gathering uh, some data from your student feedback uh, in terms of beneficial of this type of, of uh, learning? Okay. Compared to F2. Um, actually, I couldn't hear you, but I can't read the question. If you are reading the question that on the board, I can read it. So if my voice is fine, so I can answer that question. Actually, uh, we have a, uh, uh, on starting uh, project not, fin not completed yet. So um, still, we haven't analyzed the data. However, I can answer from my um, expert's point, point of view. Um, um, I found a difference, actually. Uh, let me see. Uh, let, uh, maybe I just mentioned part of it uh, during the presentation. I found the year two student who came just from the preparatory year who indulged from the first uh, day of the academic year in the online teaching. Uh, I found them very uh, curious for their teaching. Uh, very, uh, at, and at the end, I found them very independent learning, actually. Uh, they, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, 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 they felt responsible for their learning. So, uh, of course, in the, in, in the middle of that, I want, I want to be sure, to, to ensure that they are, yes, following us, um, uh, uh, following the, our instructions and our materials. Um, I tried to give them like an interactive, I give them uh, actually a topic, uh, like a presentation, a topic for uh, presentations, not only just presentation. I give them different, uh, they are just year two. I give them a uh, different scenario of COVID-19. And what the topic was, to, uh, to, uh, I need them to present all about COVID-19, including the immunopathogenesis, uh, because it's, uh, they, are, it's, uh, they are just, um, uh, they are, they, they, they are uh, teaching the, uh, sorry, they are learning the, uh, what do you call it, the clinical science only, the basic science. 
So uh, I give them uh, five different scenarios of COVID-19, uh, just a, sh a short scenario. And then each, each, each week I ask them to just to come and ask us what further you need uh, apart from the history to, to, dif to make your di differential diagnosis and to correlate the, the presentation with the underlying immunopathogenesis. And every, every one of us knows that the immunopathogenesis is not written there of concerning COVID-19, not written in the book. It's all in the uh, newly uh, published journal. So really, after five weeks of their preparation, they each group made a, a presentation, which was a marvelous presentation at their level second year. Uh, they integrate the clinical presentation that we have, uh, that uh, we give to them with the underlying immunopathogenesis uh, and information that we haven't provided them clearly. We just, they, they get the, the general information about um, how, uh, how the body, uh, the, the immune system against the virus infection and so on, but they haven't uh, get the specifically what is the immunopathogenesis of the, of the uh, COVID-19, of the SARS-2. Uh, so, um, I found them, they are different from the previous uh, batch. Uh, however, however, for me, yes, for the uh, theoretical, uh, theoretical part, but uh, still the practic practical and the clinical uh, part needs hands-on practice on the college. So this is, uh, it's not that okay. effective, it's effective in some uh, aspects, but it's not in all aspects. Thank you, Dr. Altad. Um, here another question, uh, uh, Dr. Suha, uh, Prof. Suhad. Um, how I can trust a study findings and um, how to judge it? You mean a published study? If it's published, it has gone through many reviews. And the, usually the reviewers um, are impartial and they will tell if it's worth publishing or not. But also, it has to be published in a reputable journal, not these journals na that are now uh, like uh, what? They're just growing and they're just publishing anything. It has to be uh, in a reputable journal with uh, either SCOBUS or ISI. Then you can trust that study. Otherwise, maybe you cannot. Okay. Okay, thank you. Here another question, Dr. Altaf. I'm not sure if you is uh, related to your uh, presentation, social education. Um, is it targeted for a uh, field specialty or could be done for the public? Too? Uh, sorry, was that to me? I mean, if you can answer that, it's okay. Uh, what is it, Altaf? If it's for Altaf. Dr. Altaf, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't hear him. Dr. Suhad, you can tell me what uh, Dr. Sultan is saying. I think it's better if you type it, Dr. Sultan. She cannot hear you. Uh, Dr. Altaf, um, I will type the question for you if you could answer it. For social education, it's related to is that social education. That's it's not medical education. Is it targeted for field of a specialty, or or could be done for the public too? Um, I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand the question actually. For social education, is that targeted for the maybe uh, more related to the second presentation and it was recorded. Um, so we'll skip this question. Uh, I think we. Now we can um, uh, conclude the, our uh, session. Thank you, Dr. Altaf. Uh, thank you, Prof. Suhad, for uh, your great uh, presentation. Um, I would like to um, announce that there a break time until 6, um, until, um, 6.40, uh, and then we'll start the next session.